So why am I sitting in my tree lawn? Why am I sitting in front of all of my neighbors? Well, honestly, it's something I do normally because I want to check out the wildflowers and the pollinators that are visiting them. But today, it's to talk to you about partridge pea. It's a great wildflower and I'm excited to share it with you. Here in my hell strip, in between the street and the sidewalk, we have a very drought tolerant, showy wildflower that grows well in just this type of space. It takes really no additional water. It likes sandy, dry soil, which is what a lot of us have in our tree lawn, as many people call it. Partridge pea is an herbaceous annual or short-lived perennial that occurs naturally in scrub, sand hill, flatwoods, beach dunes, and disturbed areas throughout the state. It has these lovely yellow flowers that are very attractive to sulfur butterflies and many other types of butterflies too. Partridge pea is a host plant to several species of butterfly, including the gray hair streak and cloudless sulfur. Despite its appeal to so many insects, the flower is pollinated only by long-tongued bees. It prefers very dry, sandy to loamy, well-drained soils and full sun to partial shade. It's fairly salt tolerant and can grow up to four feet tall with two to four feet in spread. Partridge pea is easily propagated by seed. Collect seed pods in the fall once they've turned brown and are falling from the plant. It's also a nitrogen fixer, so it may improve and enrich soils, allowing for the introduction of more demanding plants into your landscape. This will really provide blooms from May through November um, and reseeds very readily. So if you have a disturbed site that you want to have beautiful summer wildflowers in into the fall, this is your plant. So partridge pea also pairs very well with other wildflowers that like similar areas. So I have native porterweed, the ground cover that covers the space very nicely. And this partridge pea just stands up among it and creates this vertical interest. And the actual scientific name for partridge pea means in part clusters. And you can see these various clusters of wildflower blooms all along the stem line. The blooms attract mostly butterflies and long-tongued bees, while ants, flies, wasps, and other bees are attracted to the nectar glands that grow on leaf stems. The axillary flowers are yellow with reddish spots at the base of each petal. They bear both yellow and reddish purple anthers. The latter contains reproductive pollen, while the former produces food pollen. Leaves are pinnately compound with many small yellow-green leaflets that fold up when touched. Nectar is produced at the base of the leaf in tiny reddish-orange glands. Stems and branches are typically dark red. Seeds are born in flattened pods. Seeds are available through the Florida Wildflower Growers Cooperative at floridawildflowers.com. Plants are often available at nurseries that specialize in native plants. Visit plantrealflorida.org to find a native nursery in your area. And in the fall, when you have the seeds all along it, that's when the birds come. So wildflowers don't just support our pollinators, they also support the birds. Wildflowers take on all types of roles and they're integral for your lawn your landscape, whether it's a pot or a tree lawn like this, Partridge Pea is a great addition to any landscape and we hope that you try it as well. Subscribe to our channel to see more wildflower content just like this, in addition to webinars and all kinds of great videos all about Florida's wildflowers.